Adam, what's the matter? You're looking miserable. Adam, what's wrong? You're just sitting there daydreaming. Oh, hello, God. Well, everything's fine, really. It's just that I'm lonely. And, well, I, I was dreaming that it would be nice to have a companion. What you need, Adam, is a woman. A woman? Uh, what's that? Well, she's a bit like you, really, only female. And she would gather food for you, and she would cook for you. Yeah, that sounds good. And when you discover clothing, she will wash it for you. Go on, go on. And she will always agree with you, and she will never nag you. Yeah. She will always admit that she was wrong when you have a disagreement. She will praise you and she will bear your children and will never expect you to get up in the night to attend to them. Oh boy! She will be gorgeous and never have a headache and she will freely give you love and passion whenever you need it. Yes, yes. Uh, hang on. What, what will all of this cost? Well, it could be expensive. How much? How much? Well, say an arm and a leg. That's a bit steep. Couldn't you do it for, say, a rib? Yes, but you could lose quite a bit for that price. Yes, it's a deal. I'll settle for most of what you said, but for just a rib. OK, well, just give me a couple of days. Eve! Eve! What's for supper? How do I know what's for supper? That's your business! I've got all this flaming washing to do! You get your clothes up blooming filthy in that garden! And don't get to thinking of any lovey-dovey tonight! Not with a headache that I've got! I don't know why I ever came to live with you in this place! It's I could see that coming. I knew we should have gone for the arm and a leg version, but he wouldn't have it. You get what you pay for, I always say.